Uh, outside of tennis, I think I'm, I'm pretty normal. I like to be with my friends and my brother and my family. Um, I'm really close to my brother. He's like my best friend. When I have a problem or I'm worried about something, I'll go. I got into tennis because of him. As a baby, they would take me along to his training sessions and and everything and I would watch and then I decided I wanted to try it too. When I was training for, I have a tennis fan. It definitely helps. They give you a lot of tips and you can learn from them and it's nice to have a really good support system. My Lolo. Before coming to the academy, I trained with him. He was my coach for 10 years and he's the one who taught me everything I know about tennis. He was very strict. In tennis, I'm very competitive. So I always like to win and I hate to lose. I just enjoy and I'm just really focused and I don't think about anything else when I'm really focused on my tennis. And I can't see myself doing anything else. When I first heard the news, it sounded really unbelievable to me to go and train in Spain in Rafa's academy. And then when it became official, I was I felt so lucky and I was really, really excited for this amazing opportunity. It took me a while to adjust because I was training significantly more than, than I did here at a higher intensity also. I think I improved a lot in such a short time. I was doing so well before the pandemic and I wanted to keep that up, you know. I think, I feel like the pandemic is just another obstacle for all of us now. And you know, when obstacles come, you just need to learn how to, how to get past it. Tennis is, has always been one of my main priorities and I knew that as long as I took precautions and I followed the rules. It's not a hundred percent guarantee obviously but my coaches when they thought it was the right time. I trust, I trust my team, I trust my parents and of course I also really wanted to compete and get back out. Seeing see Alex uh, really uh, stand out among her uh, competitors is uh, really amazing to me. Rarely do we see our uh, nationality being out there and actually winning matches. And for her to do this at a young age. Hi, how are you? I'm Des. Hello, as what they said, I'm uh, such a huge fan. And you're really doing amazing. I'm sorry, I'm really chills. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I, I'm not used to this. I'm not. If you're going to work hard for something, work hard for what you love and what you love to do because then I feel like you can give your 100%. Thank you so much for accommodating me. Thank you! We present to you our country's pride, current French Open and Australian Open girls doubles champion, tennis sensation and globe ambassador, Alex Iala. Sana natuwa din kayo sa ginawa ko sa France. Um, tapos syempre, ikutuloy ko yung pagsisikap, tsaka yung pagdadasal. And big things coming soon. I'm really happy that I can be someone that younger people or younger athletes um, can look up to. It's hard for everyone, so I think it's very important to sur surround yourself with the people who love you and the people you love. And COVID, it's it's big. It's it's a big it's a big problem for sure. But it's you have to treat it like another obstacle. And you need to adjust to life because life's not gonna adjust to you. Um, and you just have to try, try your best to stay positive.